Hi guys, I got some new lighting, so hopefully the lighting's better and you guys can see my makeup better. I'm gonna do a new makeup releases. I'm gonna have my laptop up and see what's going on on Indie Makeup Spotlight, which I will put down below, as well as on Trend Mood, and let you guys know some of my thoughts. I'm gonna call these my yays and nays. I looked up some names to try to play around with because I didn't want to copy anybody with like their, you know, what their series and everything. So that's gonna be it. my yays and my nays. So let's see, if we got any yays. <laughs> okay, so I'm just pulling up Trend Mood right now and there's a new Marc Jacobs palette. The literally is spelled like, you know, your eyeball conic palette from Marc Jacobs. And apparently it's already being sold at TJ Maxx. So that's not a good sign. I doubt that it's vegan. And honestly, it's boring. It just looks like a basic brown neutral palette. And got your basic warm brown, basic light brown, basic cool tone brown, basic shimmers. A shade to set well I use it as like a brow bone highlight or to set your whole lid if you're like my skin tone or a little bit darker I guess if you're darker also you could use it I mean you can use it for whatever you want but anyway just a basic beige you know light shade so that's gonna be a nay and then this is also new today makeup by Mario is releasing some Let's see, it says a hydrating, melting, glossy balm to drench lips in a dewy, sh dewy like shine in seven exclusive shades, $22 each. So a glossy balm. So a lip gloss, but it's in like, but it's in a lipstick kind of format. So a glossy lipstick. I believe it, they are vegan so far. I think his whole line is vegan. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think most of it is vegan and they look really pretty they they're all nudes and light tones i'm assuming with like a lip gloss or like a balmy formula it's gonna be pretty light it looks really pretty but yeah there it is okay it is vegan a conditioning blend of vegan oils plump nourish and hydrate lips with shea butter avocado oil refined kiwi oil and argan oil they look really nice of course it's plastic but it's also $22 and I'm not really super into lip products, so I don't need it, but it is very pretty. Oh, this was kind of cool by RMS. First I was like, oh my God, who, who's this? And I was like, oh yeah, I've never tried them before. They are more sustainable using recyclable packaging and I think some recycling packaging. So they have these, what are they called? The eye lights, cream eyeshadows, in a aluminum tube they are 26 dollars each so cream eyeshadow long wear crease proof shadow with a metallic finish formulated with organic green tea and natural peptide quinoa extracts to nourish and smooth the delicate eye area richly textured shades textured shades create a luminous light reflective effect that's subtle enough for daytime and buildable for dramatic looks at night Comes with a reusable key so you can get every last bit of product from the metal tube before recycling. That's pretty cool. So you can push out all the products so you're not like wasting it. I like that. It's $26. I'm not really into cream eyeshadows. I don't even have any right now. And I'm not planning on purchasing this. I don't like that they have animal hair, literally squirrel hair brushes. So that's a definite no. But, and I don't see anything about it being vegan, but they're pretty, but I'm not going to get this. Oh yeah, and ColourPop came out with a pressed powder, light and buildable to medium coverage. It's from their Pretty Fresh line. I'm not going to get this, but I mean, it looks really nice. The shade range looks really, really good. They have a lot of light, medium, darks. Probably could use some more darks, but it is like a pressed powder and it is like a light to medium coverage. So it's not full coverage. So I think you can get away with, you know, different shades. $14 vegan and cruelty free. So that's cool. Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with some new lipsticks and lip liners. Don't know if these are vegan. They look nice. Hopefully they're better than what I heard of their last lipsticks that were supposed to be really, really drying. I'm not really into, again, like I said, lip products. I'm more into eye products and I've been getting more into cream, like, face products. So, 
Like I said, they do look really, really pretty, but I don't need it. So yeah. Oh yeah, and the prices. So lip liners are $18 and they have matte and satin lipsticks for $23. So let's get into some indie makeup. So this just got posted today. It is by Sugar Drizzle Polish. I have not tried anything from them. I believe you can only get their stuff off of Etsy. So this looks like a pretty palette though. Packaging looks cute. It is the, this is a pretty long name. Be the flawed, quirky, unique, beautiful, magical person that you are. Eyeshadow palette. Nine shades with a mixture of mattes, shimmers, and duochromes. And it releases on January 22nd on, I was wrong actually, sugardrizzlepolish.com. I thought I saw them on Etsy, but it must have been something else. This is pretty. Has like a um, metallic blue, purple, which I think is a duochrome. The green, the green's like really pretty. So it has like purples, blues, greens, and then this random like coppery kind of goldy bronze shade. Looks pretty, but I'm not gonna get it. I don't think they're super expensive. But I've never tried anything from them. Colourpop stuff, of course. Oh, I thought this was actually cool. So they have the Sweet Nightmare Eyeshadow Palette by Black Moxie Cosmetics. I've not heard about them. It drops on January 29th, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on their website. And it looks like they have blues, purple, some duochromes. Maybe that's a multi-chrome? It looks really cool. So here you go. Four mattes, two duochrome, one shimmer, and two satins. $40 for the palette only. And then there's a bundle where you can get three individual single chrome shades for $60 with the palette. That looks really pretty. I'm not going to get it because I don't need it, but it does look really, really pretty. So maybe, I don't know, they come out with something else. Maybe I'll try them this year. Ooh, this looks really pretty. Of course, we're getting into the Valentine's Day season, even though we just had New Year's. Of course, these come out early. I've never heard of this brand, the Bella Butte or Beauty Bar. It's beauty with an E at the end. Six shimmering duochrome, five buttery soft sats. So a soft matte or satin matte, I don't know. Two diamond mattes, which is like kind of like matte shade that has like shimmer in it. I don't really like that. Like glitter specs, I'm not really a fan of that. One shimmer and one multi-chrome. It looks really pretty. It's like a pinky, mauvey. I wonder if those are like glittery shades. But it says duochrome, so I don't know if they're like flaky duochrome or like, I don't know. Um, Don't see a price. So I'm not sure. Packaging is kind of cool. Though. It's like a bunch of cupids and cherubs and stuff. Oh, it's called the Star Cross Lovers Eyeshadow Palette, by the way. And it doesn't have a release date. It says stay tuned, coming soon. Ooh, let me know what you guys think about this. The Glaminatrix, the new palette, the Nocturnal palette. I thought the packaging kind of looked like Natasha Denona, some of her palettes. Or the, I think the Adept palettes. I have not tried it from either one of those brands. Kind of what the packaging remind me of. They look really pretty, but... I, Again, it's like, I don't need this. I have those tones. I don't really need any more of those. So, and also the shipping I've heard is really expensive. When I've also looked and it's really expensive. So 12 eyeshadows with different sh finishes. It looks like a kind of like blue-brown pigment, you know what I mean, from MAC that everybody has in a bunch of palettes. A rose gold, a, like it's like green grungy tones, and then like kind of like a blue, like a grungy blue. Pretty, but we don't need it. Stay tuned, coming soon. Colourpop, of course. Oh yeah, and I didn't want to talk about this too. M Cosmetics, which I've been wanting to try from them. M with E-M-M-E, -M -M -E, because there's also Michelle Fawn's brand. So these look super pretty, like lighter tones, duochromes, multi-chromes. The prices are really good for their company too. So stay tuned. I don't see any prices. Yet. New multi-chrome coming soon. I'm going to go on their Instagram. Everything from them, by the way, is it's a one-woman operation, cruelty-free, vegan, no talc, dyes, parabens, made in Canada, shipping worldwide. They don't do PR, handmade, and so, ooh, these are pretty. Got Hope Shade, looks really pretty. Optimism, 
confidence, resilience, courage. Ooh. Ooh. So hope is shifts from green to purple, has a white to transparent base, full shift, aurora formula. Optimism shifts from pink to orange gold, has a white to transparent base, full shift. Again, the aurora formula. Confidence pink base of shifting sheen that goes from green to pink, sheen shifter formula. Resilience purple base of shifting sheen that goes from green to purple, sheen shifter formula. Courage shifts from pink to blue, has a black base, full shift. Basic EC multichrome formula, same as multichrome magic collection formula. And here are more details. It launches on the 21st of January at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, we'll be restocking the Multichrome Magic Collection and all shimmers start shipping following Monday, January 24th. So, there you go. There's some more. Where is the price? I'm not sure. Like I said, they're, I think they're fairly affordable. So, like the Vina prices. But, yeah. I'm not going to be getting those right now, but maybe eventually... I do have them on my list of brands I want to try, which I do need to film that video. Is there anything else going on or is that it? There wasn't like too many releases. I was like, ooh, like, oh my God, this looks so cool. I'm kind of bored, which is kind of good, I guess. I don't really need anything, as I told you guys. Oh, actually, so this is the last one I'm going to talk about. Ineffable Beauty <laughs> Cosmetics. <sighs> this palette looks too big, though. The palette contains 30 shades consisting of three different formulas, six multi-chrome shimmers, 29 mattes. Okay, that's, we gotta do math here. 30, no, so this is obviously not spelled correctly. And then one matte with glitter reflex. Retails for 35 euros, $47.05. The Legacy palette. The shimmers look really pretty. I don't like the matte with a glitter reflex. Just make it a matte. There's tons of mattes. Not enough shimmers in this palette. Way too big of a palette. Just no. Not, not into this. But I mean that looks pretty but I don't need it. So definitely some yays but I don't need to buy anything. Right now, I'm going to be doing a review soon once I get my products in from a brand that you guys probably have never heard of. It's new to me, but I'm really excited. I'm going to be trying out some skincare and some new makeup, which is exciting. And it's somewhat affordable. So, but let me know if you guys are interested in any new makeup releases. Did you like any of these? Did you hate all of them? What are you feeling? Hope everyone is having a good new year so far and check out the rest of my videos because I've been posting pretty regularly. So have a great weekend. Have a great night. Have a great morning, whatever it is. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.